All right, welcome back to my channel. So obviously you'll notice it's a little different because I'm actually in my bedroom and also it's quarantine. So I'm a little pale, a little bloated. My hair needs to be done. My nails need to be done. But I wanted to make this review because Nordstrom was having a sale and I always wanted to try the Good American jeans. So I ordered, knowing me being me, I ordered a ton of Good American jeans that I'm sitting on right now, like a ton. Um, mostly because like I had there so many styles and I did not know what style to pick and number two I didn't know what size to pick so some I ordered two different sizes so that's kind of why I want to take this video to like show you guys like the different styles and sizes because I like had no idea what to pick and like how to compare them there's like good waist and good legs and like I don't understand the difference yeah all my stats will be down below like always and I also have two pairs of top shop Jamie jeans that I'm gonna compare them to because I would kind of compare them uh to each other but like the price is obviously way different good american is very expensive so to start off i'm wearing a pair right here i think most of them are the good waist jeans and then i'll tell you which ones are the good legs so these ones as you can see come right here like i'm 5'8 i feel like there's a better way to do this but okay to start off i'll start with the rise so this is a high rise uh, the high rise isn't super high rise. If anything, it's still underneath my belly button. I personally like to hit like at or a little bit above my belly button. And then the pockets I really like because they like aren't that deep. They come like right here. So they're not all the way down, which I like. They never like bunch up. So I like that part. This is actually size zero. And usually I'm a waist 26. So I originally ordered a two, which I'll also try on in this style of jeans. But you'll see like that the waistband is super stretchy and I hear it stretches out. So here is the actual style of jeans I'm wearing. This is in the size two slash 26, right? And then the cuffs are like this right here. So this is what I'm wearing. So it's uh, definitely like a crop leg. I think this is actually called the crop. It's like the good waist crop and I'm 5'8". Uh, so for me, I, that's the thing I really like about these jeans is these jeans are, put it here. These jeans hit me at a really good length, whether they're full length or cropped. Uh, but I would say if you're shorter, they're going to be super long on you. Even the crop would be like full length on you. So I would say like they're pretty good jeans, except the sizing is a little off. Like I'd say I would order one size down just simply because the waistband stretches out. The only thing is that it's like, as you can see, it's like super snug around my butt. Like you can see it bunches up here, which does make your butt look good. And the thing about the waistband back here is I feel like you see how it kind of bends down. I mean, it doesn't bend down to the fact where you can see anything at all um so that's good but in some of the jeans you'll see that it does kind of stretch out so it's just what i would be nervous of which is why i would say the size down so let me try on this same jean in a size two so you can see the difference all right so here are the size two and overall it feels more comfortable just because it's not as tight on me so it's not um as tight around my butt on me the only thing is like i said this would fit perfectly if the waistband wasn't so stretchy like it's very stretchy here and back here like you see it's like kind of too much stretch where see how it like comes down right there. I don't really like that. So I don't know, that's my only gripe. Like they would be perfect if the waistband back here wasn't as uh, stretchy. You just kind of have to keep pulling it up back there. So I don't know, maybe if it was like a teeny bit higher waisted, but obviously everyone's body type is gonna be different. Let me kind of show you in my long mirror. Okay, so here are these jeans on me. I uh, don't mind my dirty mirror and the mess back there. That's obviously the package I just got. Um, but as you can see, I wish that they were a little bit higher waisted for being called high rise. Like I would want it to cover my belly button, but that could just be my body type. Um, and this is the length it comes to. I do like this length. And yeah, when I stretch or sit down here, see how the back definitely gapes back there. Uh, it's a little weird, but it doesn't come down where you like would see your underwear or anything. Okay, so now here's a different one, a totally different wash. This is also the good waist, but full length, um, and it's also high waist. But as you can already see, this high waist already hits my belly button, which I like. So this height is a lot more comfortable for me. But now this one is a size two, so it does have a lot of stretch to it. Like back here has a ton of stretch. And then as you can see, it's very long. Um, I mean, it is full length, but it's like perfect on me because I'm 5'8", but if you were shorter, you would probably not like that. Um, and as you can see, it kind of is like baggy back here. I almost wish it was like a little bit straighter. Um, and as you can see, there's no cuts in this. This one just has cuts on the back, which I do like. 
And then let me just do a close up here when I squat. Okay, so here's it closer up. As you can see, it's a lot comfortable of a height for me, just very loose. So here when I squat down, let's see, you can see it's like a lot, it kind of like, it comes down a lot. So this is why I got a size down. So let me compare this to the size down now. Um, I do really like this fit. Like I said, I just feel like people say this stretches out. And then this is just a little bit baggy here. So now here's the size two. I think this fits a lot better. It's definitely not as stretchy up here. The only thing is I feel like it pulls a lot in this area. Uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I think everything else fits a lot better. The waist is more snatched. It's still very stretchy back here, but not as bad as the other one, especially if they say it stretches out. The thighs aren't that tight. This is, you know, like still pretty loose down here, but nothing too crazy. So overall, I would say this fit, I would, it would make sense to size down just because I know for sure the waistband feels like it would stretch out a ton. Yeah, so this is this swatch. I'm gonna put all the names on the screen just so I totally forgot them or link them below. I'm gonna try in two more jeans actually, so, or three more. So these two are a dark wash, except we only have one good legs. This is the good legs crop, and this is a good waist. So this one's full length, and they're both dark wash. But you can probably like we'll see the difference between a good legs and a good waist style. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the exact same style as the last one I just tried on, just a dark wash. Um, except this one is also a size two instead of a size zero. So the waist is definitely bigger. Uh, so it doesn't snatch me in as much. And so it's definitely bigger back here. I like the wash though, which is unfortunate. I wish I got this one in a size down, but I didn't. This one's also full length and like enough room back here. I don't know. I kind of wish I got this one in a size down though, cause I definitely feel like this one's gonna stretch out. But either way, I feel like this is kind of, this wash is comparable to the Jamie jeans I have, which I'll try on after I finish trying on Good American for you. So yeah, this is just the same style as the last one, just different wash and yeah, size two. Okay, so now this is the good legs. As you can see, this one's more of a mid-rise. I don't know if it's specified high rise at all, but definitely more of a mid-rise fit. And this one is cropped right here. And this is a size two. So this one I don't, I would not size down in the good legs style that I'm wearing right here because the waistband isn't that big. Like in the back, it's still, is pretty stretchy back there. And if I squat down, it doesn't come all the way down. Um, but it's like very tight in like this area where it could not size down, I don't think. Uh, let me show you in the mirror. Okay, so here is this style right here. So as you can see, definitely mid-rise. It's cropped uh, and it's the same pretty much wash as the other one right there. Nothing special really, you know? <laughs> So yeah, now I'll try on the last pair of Good American jeans that I got. The Good Waist and size zero now. So this one was a, the hardest one to get on for me. Uh, it feels pretty tight, especially as you can see around here, it's like very tight. So if anything, I feel like I need to size up uh, cause I do like this cut a lot. I like the cut back here, but like it's so tight right here. I could barely move. Um, and then right here, um, like the waistband fits fine too. And it's flattering back here. But this one is almost just like too tight where it's like basically noticeable, uh, which is so weird because the zeros on the other good waist fit so well. So yeah, actually um, I have a Jamie jean, which I'm gonna try in right now and show you it's ripped like this as well. And I'll just show you the difference if you're interested because the price range is a lot different, like over $50 difference between the two jeans. So I'll try that on for you now. Okay, so now here are the Jamie jeans. And as you can already see, it's so much higher waisted right here. Uh, the rips aren't as crazy, they're, they're pretty modest. The only thing is you see these pockets are really deep, which is kind of unnecessary. Um, but I kind of, I like kind of like these better. They just hit so much higher. Uh, they're not as hard to put on. All right, and they're still flattering back here. They're good length on me. Uh, they're very easy to move in right there. So even if I squat back, right, the waistband stays right there. So yeah, like I said, these are Jamie jeans and I have one more pair of Jamie jeans I'm gonna show you that uh, are not ripped. They, I feel like they kind of come at a different height though, even though they're supposed to be the same thing. So let me show you that. Okay, so I guess, I mean, I think these come to the same height. So these are just regular watch Jamie jeans. As you can see, very similar to one of the styles I got of Good American, but they're not as expensive. They come, probably higher waisted 
and they sit fit, still fit really well. The waistband doesn't gap as much, but it's still stretchy and right the back doesn't move when you come down um and now i'll kind of compare this side by side on the bed so you can see that as well sorry one last thing i forgot that i ordered uh these jamie jeans through the nordstrom sale as well they're the same size as the other ones i have but obviously different wash and they're so tight on me like as you can see like this is so tight right here uh that i need to return them it looks so bad so i don't know maybe this the style is very so i would just be cautious of that Okay, so here are some of them side by side. This is the good waist, the good legs, so that's good American. And then these are Jamie jeans. So as you can see, like, I don't know, they're pretty similar in their style and everything. So yeah, like from the height and everything from there to there, it's pretty similar. The only thing is this is probably a stretchier waistband, but not necessarily in a good way because they might, because they stretch out from what I hear at least. So yeah, I just wanted to show you side by side kind of what they all look like there. Okay, sorry, I was like sweating so much. I had to take my top off from trying on all those jeans. I'm sorry if it was like so choppy and I was out of breath. It was so much work trying on all those jeans. I mean, I hope this was helpful in some sense. I was clearly overwhelmed by all the styles and sizes of Good American. I did not know how to pick, um, but I hope this kind of showed you where Jamie jeans is still kind of a good option if you're not willing to pay the price especially when they don't all fit like perfectly. Um, I would say I think out of all of them, I'm going to keep these ones, the ones that are size zero and more of like the bleach and full length because I don't have a, a style like this. Um, the other ones are kind of similar to the Jamie jeans I already have, which actually fit me better. And I can't wait to return all this because this was like over a thousand dollars in jeans. Um, so yeah, let me know down below if you guys have any good American jeans or if you tried them because I'm just interested in your opinion because maybe I just didn't get the right style. So I'm definitely still open to trying other styles of it, but uh, these ones just like more perfect where it's worth $145. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, whatever that is. Um, it's kind of hard to film because like I feel bad. Like, I don't know, Matt is like gaming right now, which is why I'm filming in the bedroom. And I also just like film a lot of reviews on my Instagram story, especially with workout clothes. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good Easter and you're staying safe.